everything inside me. Located in Portland, Oregon, the lobby of Hotel Lucia is somewhat nightmare-inducing. Depictions of children in pain and bondage combined with pictures of celebrities and politicians. What exactly is going on there? When asked the question, do you want to be creeped out by the hotel you're about to sleep in? About 99.6% of people answer. Of course not, are you crazy? Well, despite these staggering made-up statistics, Hotel Lucia seems to go out of its way to make its lobby as off-putting as possible. At first glance, most people might brush off the art at this hotel as typical Portland weirdness. However, a closer look at the various pieces on display reveals that there's actually a theme going on there. And it is kind of terrifying. It is almost as if the hotel is trying to send a coded message through symbolic art that something terrible is happening around there. This is not my first video about creepy hotels. Last month, I described the many strange features of Empathy Suite at Palms Hotel in Las Vegas. The Empathy Suite of the Palms Hotel in Las Vegas combines colorful kitty designs with pills and opioids. The lobby of Hotel Lucia follows the same strange pattern disturbing art and pictures of powerful people. Let's take a closer look at the hotel. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Described as downtown Portland's most historic hotels, Hotel Lucia is home to the world's largest permanent collection of black and white photographs. It is also home to some creepy art. The combination of these two elements creates a bizarre space where one wonders if there's an overarching theme going on here. This is the lobby. Visitors entering the lobby are greeted with a collection of curious works of art that are asking to be investigated. And this leads to a weird rabbit hole. First, you are greeted with this painting. Three boys in swimsuits, or maybe underwear. The painting is reminiscent of the strange paintings of children on display at Tony Podesta's home. As guests enter deeper into the lobby, they also enter deeper into weirdness. A sculpture of a young boy who appears to be restrained. Everything about this sculpture screams out MK Ultra. The boy is covered in a dualistic striped pattern, a staple in monarch mind control symbolism. The stripes are also reminiscent to jail bars. Right next to this sculpture is a painting that uses a similar striped pattern. I am not exactly sure of what's happening here, but there appears to be a small person holding a phallic object. On the other side of the sculpture is a collection of smaller sculptures with the same theme of bondage and weirdness. Five figures in the same position as the boy with various objects inside and around the body. Pure monarch programming. Speaking of monarch programming, another painting appears to be a direct reference to it. This painting features a butterfly, symbol of monarch programming, the faces of four children, and, on the right, the body of a child. As one grows increasingly disturbed by this art collection, one encounters this monstrosity. Underwear with a noticeable bulge, made from crayons, which are used by children. What's the message here? I mean, really. And this is a child in a rather uncomfortable position, an adult that looks angry. And two ducks. I honestly don't know what is happening in that painting. It might depict a child being tortured while being screamed at by a person through some kind of proxy, the ducks. This painting shows a black and a white person chained together. MK Slavery. Can this woman look more evil? 
This is a color woodcut, named The Empty Hand, by artist John Buck. It is replete with strange images, such as a woman holding a baby while strapped with bombs, churches burning, and loads of esoteric symbols. At the bottom, are bones and dismembered body parts. The general theme of the painting appears to revolve around war, pollution, hate groups such as the KKK, and a whole lot of people dying. Buck's piece appears to be inspired by the Great Seal of Solomon, one of the most important symbols in Western occultism, which is based on the all-important concept of duality. So, in this hotel lobby filled with imagery relating to pain, abuse, slavery and suffering, there's a massive collection of pictures of celebrities and powerful people. The hotel's official website states, Hotel Lucia houses the world's largest permanent collection of black and white photographs by Pulitzer Prize winning photographer and Oregon native David Hume Kennerly. Kennerly won the 1972 Pulitzer Prize at age 25 and served as President Gerald R. Ford's personal photographer. He has photographed eight wars, as many U.S. presidents and countless celebrities. Next to the pieces seen above is a wall of pictures of Hugh Hefner and his Playboy playmates. Former Presidents Bush, Nixon, Carter, Ford and Reagan. Kramer from Seinfeld. Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev, and a deserted park. Lots of other pictures are scattered around the hotel. Dick Cheney riding a bumper car. Bill and Hillary Clinton are on display on the seventh floor. All there's missing is, a picture of Jeffrey Epstein playing mini-golf. Finally, as if to sum everything up, this is what's on display above the restaurant. This photo shows the head of a goat above the hotel restaurant. While the art pieces on display at Hotel Lucia are rather cryptic and enigmatic, there appears to be a common theme uniting them and it revolves around children, abuse, and the world elite. The several depictions of restraint, bondage, and suffering, coupled with pictures of celebrities and politicians, appear to send a specific message to visitors. Well, at least, to those in the light. After all, the name Lucia comes from the Latin word, lux, which means light. And who is the favorite figure of the occult elite? Lucifer, aka the light bearer. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.